A PWC, a personal watercraft, a jet ski. Uh, I will show you how to start them. First thing you want to do is to put on your life jacket. It is definitely a law on Lake Powell to wear a life jacket on a jet ski. Um, this is a Kawasaki. When you rent a jet ski, you'll find it here. There is a lanyard on a jet ski. You have a green start button and a red stop button. The stop button has a safety feature built in in case you fall off of the jet ski it will shut the engine off. So this is called a lanyard and the stop button pulls out and this little key goes up behind the stop button and that leaves it out so you, you can then start the jet ski. And you hook the other end of the lanyard onto your life jacket so that if you do fall off the jet ski when it's underway it will kill the engine and the jet ski will stop. A jet ski also has no brakes. So once you start it, you're either going to be going in reverse or in forward. And you have your gear shift right here. Reverse is straight up. You have a little button up here you push to move it. And forward is straight down. There is no stop. There is no brakes. And your throttle is right here. So you can go faster by pushing this farther. To keep the battery charged on a jet ski, you have an on-off button. And this is the key for the on-off button. If you lift the lid to the glove compartment, you'll find the orange on-off that matches your key. It's in the off position. You need to turn it to the on position and put your key back in the compartment. Now your jet ski is ready to start. Now when you're ready to launch your jet ski, we have an instructor that will help you get it off the dock. Then you can start it once it's in the water. All right, thanks Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. As you can see, you can park them or they will park them for you. This PWC is a great way to see the lake. They are a lot of fun. And they're what, probably one of the cheapest ways to see the lake also, and anyone can do it.